In this lesson, we'll review a heart of algebra gridding question. And this is number 29. Toward the end of the section, we know it's a difficult problem. In a college archaeology class, 17 students are going to a dig site to find and study artifacts. The dig site has been divided into 24 sections, and each section will be studied by a group of either two or four students. How many sections will be studied by a group of two students? You should recognize right after reading it, this is a system of equations problem. That's a very common question in the algebra section on the SAT and the PSAT and there's really two types of questions. Sometimes it's an equation form where the equation is just given and you solve but this is a word problem and again you typically will see two or three of these questions total on the test and the academic way I'll show you there's really two ways to it but the academic way is just to create two equations. The first is what I call a single variable equation just counting the number of units so in this case it's the number of sections. And so we know that the sections have either two or four students. So we could just make an equation x plus y equals 24. Let's say x represents the sections with two, y the sections with four. This is the total number of sections. Now we need an equation for the number of students. We know that the total is 78. And so to count them, it would be two times the number of, of x, right? The number of two uh, students, two students in that section plus four times y four students in that section equals 78. So at this point, we've got the two equations. You could use substitution. For this question, though, it's no calculator. I actually prefer, I think, I'm going to use elimination. And so what we would do now is I'm going to take this top equation and manipulate it to cancel out one of the variables. So what I could do, I could just multiply this by negative 2. And I'll just bring it down here. I get negative 2x. And then I get minus 2y equals negative 48. Then I just combine the x's will cancel out and I get 2y equals 30 and y equals 15. So you want to be careful. y is 15 but we know y is the number of uh, the sections with 4 and they're asking for the sections with 2 and so we plug it in. We know this y is 15 and so x is 9. That's the answer here. Now the other way of doing this problem, it's more of what I call an intuitive method. You can always use this if it's a word problem where you have two different groups. One is a subset of the other. And what I mean by that is we know that the groups have either two or four, and two is a subset. And what you can do is just say, okay, I know there's 24 sections. What's the minimum number in each section? All right, two or four, they have to be at least two. I'm going to say all 24 have two, okay? Now this is a true statement. They all do have at least two, but when you multiply that, you get 48, which is not the answer. We know that the answer is 78. So we have to make up the difference between 48 and 78, which is 30. What's the difference between the minimum two and the maximum four? Well, that's two. We've got to make up intervals of two. So you divide that difference by the interval and you get y equals 15, just like we had here. Plug it back into the original equation and we get x is 9. You can always use that with a subset question. And so hopefully you're able to follow that. If not, you can always use the academic way. Two different equations, though, one with a single variable, one with the coefficients, and then you have to use either elimination or substitution and solve.